Hi there, welcome to another video um, created by ClickAgro.com. Um, today's video, I'm going to explain the main differences between two trading platforms, CTrader and TradingView. They both have their own strengths and weaknesses, and uh, many traders have asked us what are the differences between the two and how they can uh, choose which one to start trading with. So hopefully this video will highlight um, the advantages and disadvantages, and I'll also give you some um, hands-on tutorials showing you the actual trading platforms in operation, which will also explain, again, the um, advantages and disadvantages of each one. So keep watching this video. I'll start going through a slideshow presentation now, and hopefully I'll be able to actually help you understand which one is best for you. Okay, so for those of you that aren't familiar with CTrader or TradingView, what you're looking at now is the CTrader trading platform. Um, it comes as a Windows-based version that you install on your PC, or a web-based version that you can run on your web browser. You can also change the theme of it to uh, light or dark, so just by clicking, well, actually updating the settings. And this is the TradingView uh, view. This is the TradingView's desktop version. Again, it comes as a web version as well, which is pretty much identical to the desktop. And it also comes with, with a light or dark theme and fully customizable. Okay, some of the areas this review is gonna cover is pricing, um, symbols and brokers. So what symbols and brokers each trading platform offers. Manual trading, the difference between trading manually on CTrader and uh, TradingView, which programming language each one uses, um, third party tools, so vendors or software houses, you know, what kind of tools are available for each platform. Algorithmic trading, which is very popular now, so we'll tell you more about algorithmic trading on both trading platforms. The charting, the difference between the two platforms with charting. Copy trading, which is very popular now. Um, the community, so what kind of community has been built up between the two trading platforms. Also support, which is very important, what kind of support you can get when you are using these trading platforms. Customer reviews, so uh, real-time online customer reviews for each of them. And at the end, we're gonna go through a conclusion of the two trading platforms. So because both versions of CTrader and TradingView actually come as free versions, I'm gonna do this comparison as if you were getting TradingView and using the free version. And CTrader is free anyway, so there's no fee involved with actually using CTrader. Um, with the free version of uh, TradingView, you can put three indicators on any chart. You can't put more than three. There will be some advertisements popping up on the platform as you're using it. Um, it does have some very good pattern drawing and risk management or risk reward tool that's included as standard. Um, you can only do one chart per tab and you're only allowed one trade alert. Now, um, TradingView does have a tiered payment system, um, Pro, Pro Plus, and I can't remember another one. And all of these um, add additional features as you actually go through. CTrader is um, provided as three anyway, you don't pay anything for it. You can use unlimited indicators on a chart, there's no advertisements. It does have a pattern drawn and a risk reward tool that's included, but it's not standard. You have to go to a vendor to get it. I mean, we provide these tools. Um, you can do multiple charts per tab and you can do multiple trade alerts. Okay, let's talk uh, symbols and brokers. Um, both TradingView and CTrader um, offer almost the same amount of brokers. Uh, TradingView does offer more reputable brokers than CTrader, but CTrader still has a very good list. I'll show you this list in a minute. Um, TradingView does have a large number of symbols traded. Um, CTrader does have a large number, but not as many as uh, TradingView. Um, they both offer Forex, stocks, cryptocurrencies, and metals. And what I'm going to do now is just drag this window across, which shows you uh, the top brokers on TradingView. You've got Capital.com, TradeStation, Gemini, and FXCM. Some of you might be aware of this already. Um, for spot, uh, sorry, for CTrader, you've got FX Pro, which is a very well-known broker, IC Markets. Both of these brokers have excellent Trustpilot reviews. You can just look them up and Pepperstone. Then you've got Variance, Fondex, Scandinavian Capital Markets, Skill in Jardin, TradeView, and Axery. Now these are just featured brokers. There are more brokers for both um, trading platforms, so you will find more brokers than the ones shown you, than I've shown you. But regarding symbols and brokers, um, TradingView gets the vote as winning that one. Okay, now we're going to discuss about manual trading. So that's uh, submitting market orders or pending orders with the trading platform. So I'll start with TradingView. Um, TradingView does have just basic order management features, has no trailing stop loss on the server. There's no market range, no stop limit orders, um, no advanced risk protection. And it has, it does have a manual strategy testing tool, but it's not automated. Um, CTrader does have advanced order and risk management. It has server side trailing stop loss, uh, quick trade widgets, 
you can get add-on applications. Um, so the difference between C-Trade and TradingView is with C-Trader, you can actually get third-party uh, software houses or vendors like us at ClickAlgo. And we will build, build scalping tools or mini trading terminals that actually enhance the features of C-Trader. You can also have advanced risk management tools as well included. And we also have a third-party um, manual strategy testing tool. So I'm going to go straight ahead now and actually show you TradingView's um, order management system. So it's this window here. So what you can do with TradingView is you've got a market order, a limit order, and a stop order. You specify the volume, you can set a take profit and stop loss, and you can uh, buy the position. Once the position opens, um, you can actually um, close the stop loss or take profit. You can reverse the position. If I click here, you can protect the position, so you can adjust your take profit or stop loss. Um, there are some features that are missing from here that Ctrader has, which is really needed by traders. Um, you can quickly close it here, which, which really is quick close buttons, which you can do with Ctrader, which is the fast way of closing trades or fast ways of opening trades. There's no real super fast way of doing it. You have to go to this window here and um, you can undock it. And if I undock this window, you can actually drag it on the chart or somewhere else to use it. Um, so that's it for trading view. I'm going to give you Ctrader's um, demonstration now. So here we go, this is C Trader. They do have much more um, areas to open up positions. They have the big fat buttons on the left here. You can click on any symbol that you want to open up. This is totally configurable. Um, you've also got quick trade buttons at the top here and you can specify the volume there. You've also got on the right hand side, you can set a market order, limit order, stop order or stop limit order. Um, you can got additional features here for market orders. You can also right click on the chart, create a new order. And in here, again, you've got all the different features. You can set your stop loss, take profit, and then you've got your server side statement trailing stop loss. So I'm going to set a, a sell position here and open up that. And we're also going to show you the other features you can do for the trailing stop loss. You can just drag it up and down the chart. Same with the top, uh, take profit. So it's totally configurable for doing that. Um, you can quickly close the position there. You can close the position there. You've got close all positions there. Um, you can double the position, reverse the position, or you can go to advanced take profit here. You can take four different take profit targets. Um, you can also move the stop loss to break even and you've got your server side stop loss. Now what I'm going to show you later on is um, the third party tool that you can plug into this to make it more uh, richer and much better way of actually managing your trades. So that's it. So in this case for manual trading, C Trader is uh, definitely a lot better. Okay, I'd like to show you now some of the third party tools that um, you can use with C Trader over TradingView. I don't think TradingView you can actually add on, uh, include or attach any add on trading tools. There's no embedded chart trading tools, uh, but they do have free and paid indicator scripts. Um, on C Trader, um, you've got unlimited add on trading tools, includes embedded chart trading tools and free and paid indicators. Now I'm going to give you a demonstration of what I'm talking about just in case you don't really know. Um, because obviously Ctrade was written in Microsoft.net, it allows third party vendors to create very um, advanced trading tools. So here's one we did um, here, it's in a harmonic scanner. So if this is an embedded um, little widget that's on the chart, if I go into settings, you'll see what I mean. You can create little windows like this. So you can do the conf conf configuration for it. You can click on the scanner window. So you can actually create windows or applications that will run on your PC that will um, enhance the features of the Ctrader trading platform. So not just scripting language to create um, indicators or anything like that. It has got um, very advanced sort of um, capabilities to create and very good tools. And I think whether I showed it or not, there's going to be a voice activated trading assistant. I wanted to show you the power of that. And also show you've got here, you've got things like a one click trading widget here. You just click the buy or sell button. Now what that will allow you to do is do pre-configuration of your risk management, how much you want to risk when you click the sell button. Um, it'll actually auto calculate your lot size this will, but on the one click settings here, um, you can specify you want to attach a break even every time you click sell, a trailing stop loss. You can set your take profit or stop loss um, to the last swing high or low. You can do stealth orders and uh, you can also do stop trading when it gets to a certain amount. So this is just to show you um, the actual different things that you can do with it. It's also got um, little terminals where you can go for scalping. You only want to open up 1% of, of your position size, 5% of your position size. So you can adjust it here. This is just a tool that was created. And you've got another widget here that you can actually close all buyers or all sellers. So it's about fast trading. It's about opening up positions really fast. Um, like MetaTrader has got very similar stuff. C Trader does have the ability to create more advanced sort of tools like this. So that's the example just to show you the difference between the two. So um, we do feel that, and also these windows you can drag away from your trading platform. If you've got a multi-monitor setup, you can just put these anywhere on the chart and do that. Also, you can create little applications that will go away and get data from um, some data source somewhere and visually show it on the charts. So that's why we feel in this case, 30 Pi tools, C Trader also wins. 
Okay, this is another example of some of the tools that you can create uh, for C Trader. Um, you can, in this case, we created a few years back a voice activated trading assistant, but it gives you some idea of the power of what you can do using Microsoft.net with C Trader and why it's probably light years ahead of a lot of its competitors. Um, I'll give you a quick demo. David. Yes, Paul. Cable price. The current GBP USD bid price is 1.33453. David. Yes, Paul. Uh, bar chart. David. Yes, Paul. Bar chart. Showing the bar chart. Candlestick chart. Showing the candlestick chart. Open buy position. A buy position has been opened with a volume of 1,000. Close all positions. All positions closed. Okay, so that's just a quick demo just to show you uh, one of the tools that we've developed. You can, I'll put the link at the bottom of this video. You can download this tool for free. It's got a, a set of instructions or commands that you can use already, but it can be scaled on. But it's just to give you an idea of some of the power of kind of what you can do by creating add-on tools for the C Traded platform because it uses uh, one of the most popular programming languages in the world. Okay, so the next subject I'm going to cover is programming language. What I mean by that is which language um, does a trader use to create custom indicators, third-party tools, or automated trading systems? So both TradingView and C Trader offer a programming language. Um, TradingView offer a thing called PineScript. It's a scripting language. It was built um, in-house, so you can only use it with TradingView. Um, it doesn't have a huge amount of resources on the internet to um, learn how to use it, but they are they are building on it slowly. I'll show you that. Um, it has a very basic code editor. It has um, no framework for advanced third-party tools. So with CTrader, you have thousands of extensions, uh, pre-built libraries that you can just plug and play to build very complex systems. Um, TradingView doesn't have that. CTrader uses Microsoft C Sharp. I don't know if most of you might have heard of it. It's been around about 20 years. It's a high-level programming language. It's almost self-documenting the way you write it. It's very easy to understand. It's, I think last year it got voted, or this year, the fifth most popular programming language in the world. Um, with um, C Trader, you can use a basic code editor or an advanced um, Microsoft Visual Studio editor. I'll show you that. That's a huge amount of free resources with videos and, and educational stuff on the internet. Um, it uses the power of .NET. <clears throat> what I mean by that is um, .NET is a huge framework that allows you to build um, enterprise level applications that you can just plug in or bolt on onto C Trader. So third party vendors like us at Click Algo can create some very cool tools for uh, trading really. And also the knowledge that you gain from Microsoft C Sharp, you can port it onto your CV, you can use it as a hobbyist programming, or you can put it onto other program, uh, other trading platforms like Ninja Trader that uses Microsoft C Sharp. So it's a very useful one to learn. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead now and show you um, some web pages. So this is Learn Microsoft C Sharp from the Microsoft website, and they have a huge amount of videos um, to help you learn how to use the, the, the actual programming language. So I would say if you're gonna learn a programming language, C Sharp is one of the most easiest and best ones to do. And again, C Trader support it, and you can then go in very quickly, learn how to program, and create um, applications for the C Trader platform. The IDE or the development environment that comes with it is Microsoft uh, Visual Studio. It's free of charge. The community version, which is 2022, um, you can download. It's very complex and very easy to use. I mean, you don't have to use it in a complex way, sorry, but it has. it's very useful. I mean, I'm really, I really um, think it's one of the best editors that I've used on there. So um, PineScript, as I mentioned, is a scripting language created by um, TradingView. Um, it does allow you to do some basic, um, uh, sorry, not basic. It does allow you to do some quite advanced um, indicators, but it doesn't allow you to do any third party applications that I showed you in the last slide or any kind of um, Windows applications that you can actually use onto it. And there is quite a bit of information on there you can find on the internet. It's not as high level or easy to read as uh, Microsoft C Sharp. They've got Pine Coders and you can use Stack Overflow. What that means is Stack Overflow is a site that'll actually allow traders to discuss problems and you can ask questions and stuff like that. So that's very useful. And it's also got quite a few tutorials on the internet. So it has got information about the language, but it's because it was built in-house by the trading platform, it is um, light years behind uh, Microsoft C Sharp. So what I'm gonna show you now is um, the editor that comes with TradingView. So this is TradingView's code editor, which comes um, built into the platform itself. And as you can see down here, um, you can hover your mouse over for any of the properties or methods and you have a pop-up window that tells you what it's doing. Um, like C Traders inbuilt code editor, <clears throat> it's not the best in the world. 
but it's probably okay for um, beginners and people that are just starting to learn to program. But once you start, um, you need to need to do more complex stuff. <clears throat> That's why you need to use something like Microsoft Visual Studio. So again, you can open or save it or add it to your charts. You could write your um, indicator code here and add it straight to your chart. You can also create strategies and run a simulation, but these are not automated. I'll show you later on how to do that. On CTrader, on the other hand, um, you have to go to the Automate tab down here. So the Automate tab is a dedicated part of the trading platform for um, writing algorithms, automated trading, creating custom indicators and writing your code. Now, this is their code editor here. Um, again, um, it's good enough for somebody that's just starting out and you need to learn the API. So there's two things you need to learn. One is the, the programming interface, which is how to interface with the trading platform from the base call um, programming language like Microsoft C Sharp or PineScript. And the other is, um, I completely forgot, it doesn't matter. So this is the code for, um, for this used for Visual Studio, sorry, for oh, C Trader. But if you wanted to actually open up Visual Studio, you just right click there and you do um, edit in source code. <clears throat> and what this is going to do now, this is going to open up um, Microsoft Visual Studio. Now with Microsoft Visual Studio, um, some of the core benefits you've got in here is you can automatically um, save your code to Git or you can save it to a repository. What I mean by that is you can store it and store versions of your code so you don't lose it. You can add breakpoints here like this, attach this, your code or your project to the trading platform. What I mean by that is when you run the trading platform and your, um, your, your indicator is being used, it will step through the code and this allows you to actually identify any issues that's in your indicator. So you can look at the, the actual data that's coming in. Also, one of the core benefits of using Microsoft Visual Studio is if I click on the, the dot there, it comes up with a list of all the properties and methods that are inside this object. So if you are, well, this is something that PineScript doesn't have, it allows you to learn the API a lot easier and learn the framework of .NET because it lists you all the available properties and methods. There are other things that um, will help you massively like bookmarks and these are just touching the edge of what you can do with Visual Studio. So I just wanted to kind of stress that um, when it comes to programming languages, <clears throat> CTrader using Microsoft Visual Studio, as I show you, showed you in the last video, is light years ahead of TradingView in, with regard to creating add-on applications uh, mini trading terminals and really anything out of the box that you can't even you've never even thought of you could probably achieve with Microsoft C Sharp using a uh, C Trader. So Trading View is great for creating um, custom indicators using their in-house language, but C Trader is far better for creating um, like complex or or enterprise level applications that bolt onto the trading platform. It is also very good for beginners to learn to code because C Sharp is easy to learn, huge amount of resources. So if you want to create your custom indicators and you have no programming experience, C Sharp is perfect um, direction to go to le actually learn how to do that. And if this is your first time in creating an automated trading system, again, C Sharp is definitely um, a good way to go. Okay. Okay, so algorithmic algorithmic trading is also known as automated trading or mechanical trading. This is where you um, write with your programming language, you code um, a set of instructions that um, execute automatically. So you might have something, again, it might be an indicator, but with the, the actual trading side of it, you might want to open a position when the RSI is above a certain value or below a certain value, or when something happens in the markets, you can open and close possession positions. Now, algorithmic trading systems can be complex or they can be basic. Some of the best ones are there just to help the trader. The whole idea behind it is that um, you don't have to st sit staring at your charts for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, waiting for a signal. You could literally automate that signal so that it sends a message to your uh, telegram, to your mobile phone by, via telegram or SMS, or it actually executes a market order for you automatically. Now, TradingView does not have any automated trading um, lo uh, system or feature built into the trading platform, but they do have a manual strategy backtest that you can use for your manual trading. CTrader does have automated trading using CTrader Automate. You do have the ability to create complex trading applications. You can backtest your trading strategies over historical data to make sure they're okay. You can also optimize using their optimization feature you can optimize your trading system's parameters so that they're kind of data fitted with historical data that kind of increases the, the chances that it will do well on, on future data. Now, algorithmic trading is accounted for about 60 to 73 percent of overall trading in the United States. So it's very, very popular right now. So algo trading right now, running your own bots is super, super popular. Um, we're not talking about a system that you just press a button and it, and it trades for you and makes money. This is um, 
what a lot of people think. That's not true. We're talking about systems that actually help people trading. They take away a lot of the boring tasks of waiting for signals or staring at, staring at, staring at charts. So I'm going to go ahead now and actually show you um, it in play with CTrader. So this is one of our products uh, for CTrader. It doesn't open up many trades. Now with CTrader Automate, when you click on the Automate tab, in here, you've got the parameters for the um, system. Now these ones are just um, data fitted right now because you can um, optimize these. But the whole idea is that you can adjust the parameter settings and you can back test. So you can check your um, trading system with historical data. Obviously, historical data is not going to tell you that in the future it's going to be doing the same thing. So the kind of performance you get with historical data might not get anything like with future data, but it kind of increases the, the chances that your system's not going to crash and burn and, and blow your account. So I'm just going to give you a quick demo here. So with CTrader Automate, you can run a robot, put it on a virtual private cloud server, or just run it, leave it running. And uh, when a trade opens, you can go back and manage it and do your analysis. But the whole idea is um, it opens and trades for open and close trades for you and manages them as well. So this will open and close trades, um, do the risk management, adds trading stops, does the whole thing for you. But ideally, you need to actually interact with it as well. So I'm going to kick it off. So we put it in fast mode. Each time a candle is formed, that's one hour that's passed. Um, and what it will do in a minute, it will open up a trade. So this is just historical data. Now it's opened up a trade. Um, and then what you can do is you can analyze this with a historical backtest and see what it's doing. Now I'll run the trade and once it's finished, it will close the trade. If I go to history, it's closed the trade here. It'll actually open up another one in a minute. And I just want to go for this little exercise with you just to show you what you can do with CTrader. Once you've actually programmed and you've created your algorithm, you can then test it using CTrader Automate to make sure that um, it's running by your trade rules. What most people do is they actually um, come up with a trading strategy that they might be using manually um, and they want to automate that. So there is certain um, conditions that you can automate from your manual trading, um, certain like signals you get from indicators or anything. Now this system will actually, so once you've got that, you kind of document it, you send it to a company like us, click Algo, we actually do um, software development. So if you need an algorithm developed, you can just send us your requirements. We will build it for you. And we'll also back test it to make sure that there's no bugs. You can also test it yourself and then you can run it on a demo account and then run it on a live account. There's certain conditions for running it on demo and live. Um, so if you look at the history now, this one, if you would have run this with historical data, it would have got all these trades here. My head's in the way, um, but it gives you some idea of how it works when you run it. So um, in a nutshell, um, TradingView doesn't have automated trading. Um, CTrader does. I feel CTrader excels with automated trading. It's got a very um, easy to use interface. Um, and also we are, well, I am doing a Udemy channel soon, and I'm actually going to do a full course um, showing traders how to program using Microsoft C Sharp. So you start from the beginning, how to use Visual uh, C Traders API, how to create your first algorithm um, and get started. So um, if you're interested and you're willing to, you would like to learn how to create your own algorithms and, and, uh, and uh, custom indicators, then uh, soon this course will be ready and you can contact us and use it. And CTrader, I feel, is the perfect platform for doing it. So if you want to um, stop this, I can just stop it there and you can look at the historical trade so that it's done. OK, so that's it. So in that case, um, CTrader obviously wins hands down because they've got some excellent um, automated trading um, features. OK, so when it comes to charting or trading with charts, trading view wins hands down. It's an excellent tool for that. And um, they've got some great charting indicators and tools, um, trade analysis widgets, and um, they have an inbuilt pattern drawing tools and risk reward tool, which I'll show you later. It has news events, um, but you are limited to one chart layout and one template. And on the free version, uh, you are limited to actually adding the amount of indicators and stuff like that. But if you're willing to pay a little bit of money for the tiered, you get the full benefits from there. C Trader doesn't have as many default charting tools, uh, but it does have news event indicators. You can get the pattern drawing tool and the risk and reward tool, but it's not standard. You have to come. We have it at clickalgo.com. Um, we also have them for free if you want to download them. And there's also a large selection at C Trader of uh, uh, feature rich chart add ons. Um, you can have unlimited chart layouts and un unlimited templates, and you can also do multi monitor support. You can detach the chart and put it on different monitors. So it is very good on that respect. I'm quickly going to show you C Trader now. So on C Trader, this is the chart that you can view out. These are the drawing tools on the left hand side. You've got the vertical, horizontal line. I'm just going to step through to show you, and then you can look at Traders 1 and compare. This is a pencil tool, um, price channels, Andrew's pitchfork. Fibonacci uh, retracement fan and expansion and just a few, a few various objects for drawing objects on the chart. It's not a huge amount. You can do bar chart, candlestick, line chart and dot chart. 
Um, you can do free chart mode and it'll put a chart on each one. Again, you can just undock any of these and uh, use them somewhere else. You can drag them off the chart. So this is CTraders one. You've got multiple time frames you can use there. So as far as a charting package, um, CTrader is, is getting better. They're actually constantly doing improvements and adding it on. I think it's good enough for beginners to start charting. Um, trading views is better, I'm afraid. So if I open up trading views one, so here you've got the various drawing objects. If I just click on here, you've got all the different objects there you can draw onto the chart. Um, and down here, you've got a Fibonacci retracement, pitchfork, various other GAN square objects here. You can just draw these onto the chart again. Um, here you've got the different patterns, ABCD, D5, ABCD, triangle. I mean, we do offer for CTrader an automated harmonic pattern uh, tool, which automatically identifies them. And there is also a um, pattern drawing tool that you can draw onto the chart. So you can get the same things with CTrader, but they're just not as cool looking or as easy to use. So um, definitely with uh, TradingView, it has far better. You have a risk and reward tool here. So this is the risk and reward tool that you can use. It has got the target and everything. Now this is a manually drawn tool that you can just plug in. That's very good. Um, if I click on that there, you've also got forecast, date range, date and price range, bar patterns, ghost feed and projection and, and so forth. So again, regarding, um, and also you've got your indicators up here and your financials and the rest of it and templates. I'm sure if you go into TradingView and have a look at it, you can find it. But yeah, for, for social media background and for um, charting and TradingView is, is excellent. There's no more I can say about that. So it's far better for on their chart side of things. OK, talk about copy trading now. Copy trading enables individuals in the financial markets to automatically copy positions opened and managed by other individuals. So it's not mirror trading where you mirror it. Um, copy trading links a portion of a copier's trader's funds to an account. What I mean by that is, is that there's a trader out there who's very successful and I want to copy his trades and make a percentage of the money. So C Trader allows that with copy trading. There is a tool for using it, so you can copy other people's tools. There is also third party copy tools um, using Duplicum. TradingView doesn't have any um, trade copying tools, no third party tools, so it doesn't actually do copy trading. If you want to find out more about copy trading, um, just type into Google C Trader copy trading and it will actually come up with more information. Okay, and I'm going to cover platform community. What I mean by that is what type of community is built around the trading platform so that both new and, and uh, you know, long term um, users of the trading platform can actually help each other. Um, TradingView has a very good social network and, sh and sharing of trade ideas built into the platform. So somebody could actually um, show them their strategy drawn on the chart or their technical ideas, and they can share that with other other traders. That's why we, that's an excellent thing for TradingView actually there. And they have a base Facebook group, a Discord server group. And they also have a Telegram group, but it's only used for advertising. We didn't see any interaction with customers there for actual support, which we'll cover in the next slide. Um, Ctrade has a very has a copy trading community, has a multi-language telegram support communities. Um, we have an algorithmic trading support community out at ClickAlgo. It also has a forum, ctrader.com, um, and we have a ctrader.info support forum and a Facebook group, but that's not so much for a community. So really between the two platforms, um, TradingView has very good social networking and trade sharing ideas, but Ctrader has very good um, instant help or instant chat community built around Telegram. So there's, you know, they're both pretty much the same there. OK, so this one is about platform support, and this is um, what kind of support you get from the um, people like Ctrader or TradingView when you have issues using the trading platform. Um, with the free plan of TradingView, there is cust no customer support, so you're not, you, know, you can't get help. You, have to, you only get the help if you actually pay for the tiered plans, and then they can give you email support or whatever. I'm not sure, telephone support. Um, again, the Telegram group for support is just used for advertising. You, there is no kind of support there. You do have a Discord server that you can use for support. Um, there is no direct instant chat support. Um, it has a very good YouTube channel with educational materials, but it has li very limited programming support and, unless you actually go to um, Stack, Stack Overflow, which is very good, actually. Um, C Trader does, I feel, has a very good, excellent customer support. Um, traders can get instant answers to their messages using the Telegram group. Um, we also have an instant Telegram group that we can help people. Um, they have an, a multi-language Telegram support group, as I mentioned in the last slide. 
Um, C Trader has second line support on their forums. We offer second line support on our uh, C Trader info, and we're also offering algorithmic programming support groups as well. So that um, if anybody has any coding problems, um, they can actually post their, post their snippet of code, and they'll get an answer back and support that way. So for platform support, C Trader that from the actual owners of the platform, we feel C Trader is far far better. Okay, when it comes to customer reviews, uh, neither of them have really gone out there and tried to get um, good customer reviews. Um, TradingView has a Trustpilot score of 2.8 out of 5 with 391 reviews. Um, Trustpilot is probably one of the most well-known and common sort of unbiased online, real online reviews you can get. Uh, Forex Peace Army is, um, most of those reviews are actually written and not validated. They only get 1 out of 5. As uh, Trustpilot reviews for C-Trading, they get 4.1 out of 5, but they've only got 14 reviews. And Forex Peace Army, it gets 4.5 out of 5 for 38. So considering that Trustpilot is more of a realistic um, gauge for reviews and only has 2.8 for customer reviews, that's not so great. So on this, is, you know, we do feel that C-Trader has actually got better customer reviews all in all. Okay, and the conclusion of the two trading platforms. Um, so TradingView is an excellent charting package. Um, it's very good for creating custom indicators and for manual traders, it's perfect. Um, so you've got some great tools for chart analysis, custom indicators, um, I put basic algorithmic trading, but that's wrong because they do not offer any algorithmic trading. Um, you can test your strategies, but that's about it. Um, but it's also very good for discussing and sharing your trade ideas. So um, if you've got a trade idea, you can easily um, share it on their kind of social media side of the platform. That is a very good thing about it. And they do have a live community actually directly on the platform. So everybody who's trading online can actually um, interact with other traders that are on the platform. Um, C Trader has very good trading and order management. As we've mentioned previously, it's perfect for um, submitting orders and managing the orders. You can create custom indicators. It has got a better customer support when it comes to the platform. You can create automated trading systems with C Trader that you cannot do with TradingView. And you can do advanced algorithmic trading as well. It's also got, we have a huge amount of um, educational resources at clickalgo.com. And again, if you're learning Microsoft C Sharp, the internet has got a huge amount. It's also got copy trading. Um, so you can copy the trading of another trader who's more experienced and actually make um, a profit out of that. Um, so the conclusion between the two is they're both very different. Um, so I'm not going to say which one's better than the other. Obviously, you know, we are biased towards C Trader because we create C Trader software. So we are a little bit biased in this video. So, you know, things I've been saying, you might see that I'm a little bit biased. But all in all, if anybody's looking at um, trading and they want good order management and they want to create automated trading systems or they want to have um, a big library of um, third party tools to help their trading, C Trader is the one to go for. Um, if you're doing chart analysis um, and just doing basic order management um, and sharing of trade ideas, then TradingView is a good one to go for. Okay, so this review was done by us at clickargo.com. Um, we specialize in C-Trader software, so we are a little bit biased, but we try to be as fair as possible. Um, if you feel that there was anything incorrect or anything I said, please put comments in below on the YouTube channel. And if you do look the, like the video, please give us a thumbs up because that really helps out. Thank you very much.